Why is she just pulling me aside? There's a trace of evidence to be found in the chapel. Oh, is this the chapel? This must have something to do with Remire. Perhaps. Wait. Why are you here? Where are you? <laughs> Another student? I like how you guess the MVP. I always oh, try no. to guess. Thanks for all your help, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're just a pathetic old man. How dare you get in the way of my brilliant plan, you dog. Oh, I'm gonna kill the bitch. Run along now. Thanks for all your help, sir. <laughs> no! Because there is still a role that I require you to fulfill. Sorry. It looks like I'm going to have to leave you now. No! First time I saw you cry, your tears would be for me. It's sad, and yet I'm happy for it. Thank you, kid. Just as you say, like Gerald before the mission on let go, no. Oh my god. No. That's fucking. Mmm. When you had Mercedes heal him and we're like, Gerald, you better not die on me. I was writhing inside. Oh. I need to go grab another drink. <laughs> oh my god. I, I already ran out of my drink. I need to go grab another one. I'll be right back. Jesus fucking Christ. I can't believe that shit. God damn it. <laughs> shit man that's such bullshit <laughs> god damn it <laughs> that's just my fucking luck too I like a character and then they fucking die <laughs> oh man <laughs> I told you this month's mission would be difficult I thought you meant like gameplay wise not fucking on heart on the heart <laughs> Man. So this is where your father lived. Oh, that, too fucking soon, game. Are you still crying? If turning back the hands of time was not enough to save his life, you must accept what came to pass. Fuck you, Sothis. Fuck you. <laughs> it wasn't fate. Our enemies will pay. It wasn't fate. Control yourself. Though Gerald's death was at the hands of wicked ones, a fate is still a fate. Oh, your father said to look for something here. He must have been referring to whatever. Oh yeah, is he said something behind the bookcase. There. I remember that from my last stream. Oh, man. Your father's diary. Huh. His handwriting is prettier than his face would suggest. 
Well, well. These entries here are from before your birth. He seems to have been writing this for quite some time. Oh my god. Hmm? Oh. Read that part there. Horsebow Moon, year 1159. Day 20 of the Horsebow Moon. All is cloudy. I can't believe she's dead. Lady Rhea said she died during childbirth. Oh. Is that the truth? <laughs> oh no! Why? Why immediately after Gerald's death am I reading about... Man! <laughs> and still, the child she traded her life for doesn't make a sound. Didn't even cry at birth. Oh, it's referring to me. Day 25 of the Horsebow Moon. It's raining. The baby doesn't laugh or cry. Not ever. Lady Rhea says not to worry about a baby that doesn't cry. It isn't natural. We had a doctor examine the child in secret. He said the pulse is normal, but there's no heartbeat. No heartbeat? What? Day two of the Wyvern Moon. Sunny. I feel I must take the child and leave. But the church is always watching us. I don't know what Lady Rhea has planned. I used to think the world of Lady Rhea. Now I'm terrified of her. Day 8 of the Wyvern Moon. More rain. I used the fire that broke out last night to fake the child's death. Wait! Lady Rhea is in a state over the news, but I can't change what I've done. I've got to take the child and leave. <laughs> what? Well now, that baby must be you. That means... Hmm? Someone is approaching us. Hide the book, hide the book, hide the book. There you are. Lady Rhea is looking for you, Professor. Why? And after your audience, why don't you join me at the dining hall? You haven't eaten since... Since it happened, have you? I would give fucking me. answer either. I suppose it's too soon to try and coax you back into the normal swing of things. As for what happened to Gerald, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything to stop it. Stay here until you've found some peace. I'll cover for you with Lady Rhea and everyone else. Thank you, if only. Thank you. We'll be waiting for you whenever you're ready to return to us. I don't believe it's a sign of strength to just keep moving forward no matter what. Taking the time to grieve for those we've lost. There's strength in that too. That's what I think anyway. That said, it's also important to remember that no matter how sad you are, Eventually, your tears will dry up. That's when you have to figure out what it is you're living for. Then you can cling to that with all your might and start moving forward again. What I'm living for? Four years ago in Dusker, oh. I experienced the same pain you're feeling now. My father was the strongest man I knew. Someone I loved and admired deeply. That day, he was killed before my eyes. His head severed clean off. My stepmother, the kindest person I had ever known, left me behind and disappeared into the infernal flames. Everyone who I considered precious, my family and my closest friends, I couldn't save any of them. Not a single one. Oh my god, I thought... Oh. Now... The burden of the work they left behind falls on me. I must ensure they have no regrets. That's my duty as the sole survivor of the tragedy. It's a heavy burden, but accepting it gave me the strength to pick myself up off the ground and start moving again. Start living again. Gerald is gone. So what will you do now, Professor? <clears throat> I want to punch what you in the face for saying do? that. Look deep in your heart. And I'm certain you'll find the answer there. 
Indelible and inescapable. <sighs> I've probably bothered you enough for today. But I have just one more thought to leave you with. Even now, Sedith is gathering the knights to begin a full-scale search for the enemy. It may not be right away, but before long they will find their trail. No matter what happens or what anyone may say, know that I plan to stand by you, Professor. Through anything. Until the bitter end. God, I think I chose a good house. Did you search deep within yourself as he suggested? And did you find yourself some answers? This book is filled with secrets yet unknown. We must return another time to read the rest. Oh, but I have at least you chose perhaps the best house. Out. And what's that? I know Sothis? now why our fates are intertwined. Why? You fucking. Mm. <laughs> Professor, I have been waiting for you. I am filled with grief at the loss of our most celebrated knight. Gerald was an ally of many years, and also a dear friend. And why was he afraid of you? Many years? When did you meet? Yeah, when did you meet? That's actually a good question. When did you meet? It was a long while back. At the time, Gerald was a soldier of the kingdom. He was injured in battle, and I saved him just as he was about to perish. That was our first meeting. After that, he became a knight of Seros. He gave his all in service of the church. Why did he leave the knights? He fell in love with one of the nuns here at Garigmark. Their love produced a child whom she died giving birth to. It was her decision. She weighed her own life against that of her child's and in the end, implored me to save the child. Mm -hmm. Your father never truly accepted that decision. He took the child, took you, and disappeared without warning. Really? Because didn't the book say that Gerald told her that Byleth w was part of the tragic fire? Who was my mother? Did I inherit my crest from my mother? Who was my mother? Your mother. She was my... I'm sorry for the interruption. Eloise, Andrea. get the fuck out. There's something you must hear immediately. <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> you bastard, come on! What? Oh, man. A report from the knights patrolling the area. Motherfucker. Very well. Professor, you are dismissed. Jill said Lady Leia... Please rest Lady, and oh, focus only on Lady mending Leia your Lady Rhea was distraught when he Understood. told Byleth. So that is a little sus. Was distraught. So then who... Oh, what relation was Byleth's mother to... Oh my god, wait. <laughs> my fucking head's filling with theories, I hate it. What the fuck? <laughs> Eloise, you damn bastard. You had to cut interrupt at the worst time. Chapter 10? Yeah. Part 1. Oh. White clouds. Guardian moon. Where the goddess dwells. And he's, they're keeping him as a narrator. I'm fucking sad. Long ago, the guardian Saros made an appearance during this moon. She had been summoned by the goddess, whose soul was suffering as the flames of war raged across. Just a little extra salt in the wound. Let's Some have believe Gerald's VA narrate everything. Saros, the immaculate ones, came too soon. Or yeah. Powered the strong winds, carrying the or game too soon. Very too soon. Battle. I love these little uh, narration bits, though. Like the art at the end, I love them. Don't get me wrong, I love them. But that's a dick move, game. That is a dick move. Oh, man. Oh. God damn it. <sighs> mm. 
Now what? What you want to tell me my mission about what this month? What are you doing at this hour? Oh, I know. You are eavesdropping. I must admit that I approve. Oh? Professor, we must remain quiet. Who are you sneaking up on? I see. The Flame Emperor and Monica. Wait, the how did you find- rescued Monica. It's time for revenge. Not yet, Professor. Bastard. An unexpected chance to hear their plans. Patience, patience. That guy used to be oh, Tomas. Thank you, you saved me. If you were to die, oh, then the that is another of guy. Our bodies would be revealed. Preventing that was my only aim. The mystery of I'm our afraid bodies. You must remain, Kranya. There is something I need you to do. Oh, of course. I am always happy to cooperate with Solon. Leave it to me. How annoying. Flame Emperor, is she offending you? Unfortunately, we cannot take our eyes off her, so there is nothing to be done. You are our greatest creation. We use the defiled beast's blood as the fuel to your flame, that you may burn defiled even the gods. Defiled beast's blood? Now is the time to cleanse Fodlin with that power and bring forth our salvation. What? There will be no salvation for you and your kind. What? Those responsible for such gruesome deeds in Dusker and Enmar. Enmar? All so that you may acquire the strength you need. All for a purpose. And I've got you. Finally. Wait. If we don't act now, we'll miss our chance. Hmm. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> Even if someone has overheard us, there is nothing they can do. There have always been rats in the walls, and there always will be. Oh. Son of a bitch. I feel like I should have said, let's keep listening. I dropped the dagger. No. The dagger. Wait. Didn't he... Oh no. It No, never mind. No, 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 so. no, no, no. Did this game just reveal the something to me already? Are the ones we must destroy. They're the bastards who killed my family and Gerald. For now, let's return to the monastery and regroup. As for the Flame Emperor's dagger, I'll hold on to it for the time being. This game just made a bold fucking move. It told me Dimitri's Dimitri's thing with a certain dagger and then he freaked out after Oh no, I got a I got a thought in my head. Hmm. <laughs> it's Ingrid's birthday. Give flowers. Thank you. Holy shit. Uh oh, he's not even looking up at the board. Now you're gonna be sad for the whole month. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, that's right, I already had her take the thing. Oh, let's burn it out of you. Sad times? Yeah. That's fucking sad. Let's see, what do I need? A or higher? Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to speak with you again. Oh, man. The slow orchestral music, too. Oh, that's a fucking kick. That's mean. That is so rude. Oh look, now I can pass it. 
I'll just buy more advanced seals. A new path. Jesus. Two of these, or three of these. Yeah. I'll take your entire stock. Oh, right. Blacksmith, repair. Let's see, I can either repair the Lance of Ruin or Luin. Luin takes three. And the Lance of Ruin takes three. Oh, okay, I can just repair them both. Oh, wait, isn't there another one? Thunderbrand, is that the only other one? Aside from mine? Luin is better, in my opinion. Well, I can just repair them both anyways, because they both require three. I'll just repair them both and do a rest to repair the Sword of the Creator. Because now that I know how to get Umbral Steel, I'm going to be giving these guys their fucking things. Let's see. What's the calendar look like? Okay, got one, two, three, four, 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 four full things. I'm going to do rest first, and then I'll do one of the paralogs. Oh, nice, I didn't know how much you had. I had six, so I could do two repairs. So I did those two, and I'm going to do rest now. So the carrier will automatically be repaired? Yes. And then I'll do a paralog battle, explore the monastery. Can be used five times. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, let's do automatically again. Okay, not bad. Could have been better. Professor, may I ask you a question? Sure, Flane. I want to be able to t talk to males and make friends with them, but my brother always causes such a fuss. Ah, yes, your brother. Do you have any advice for me? You should have an honest talk with your brother. Do it when he's not looking. Seems like your brother has his reasons. Have an honest talk. Uh, I see. Yeah, have an honest talk with your brother. Jesus, that gave a lot. Professor. I'm so sick of it. They won't hold still so I can attack them. They just keep running at me. I need to get better at writing so I can put some space between me and them. That means I have to get better with lances too. Focus on bow skill to excel as a sniper. Focus on lance and writing skill to excel as cavalry. Ca cavalry. Ah. Uh... How many snipers do I have? You're pretty good with a sniper shot, actually. So, leave it as is for right now. Brother, heavy parentheses. Let's give it a try. Oh, no. I need to change this up, because it's we only been it. goods. Hey, Anna, 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 got an increase. St. Sarah's Day is today. There will be a hymn, hymn, whatever, recital at the cathedral where you participate. Sure. Oh, hi, Anna. <laughs> Who knew I'd have an opportunity to show off my singing voice? Singing in tune with others proved quite difficult. Large amount of faith and authority. 